Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to the first Let's Play on the channel, and the main game that's going to be on the channel, Absolver. Alright, so, uh, this isn't really blind, I've already played quite, well not quite a bit, I've actually, I haven't played that much at all really. Um, but I played up to a certain point, and I'll let you know when that point comes. Alright, so, we're going to start a new character. And so far I have two characters, one that I play with others, and one that I'll be playing specifically for the channel. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go... Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, alright. Light blonde, yes, yes. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna be doing Forsaken, actually, because my man is a cult, and I already tried, and I, have, I actually do have a Windfall character. But I gotta admit, I like that one the least. So, Forsaken. Now, one thing about the names that I tend to do is I love hip hop. And one of my favorite hip hop groups of all time is the Wu Tang Clan. So, I've named my male characters after Wu Tang Clan members. Now, for her, she's actually gonna be named after another one of my favorites. But it's actually the name of the first album. Of Little Kim. And so we begin. Oh yeah, we're also doing this in offline because the servers seem to be doing kind of like, you know, crapping out at the moment. But, you know, when we can go online, I'll switch it. Alright, so, first off, did anybody else notice that that guy who tapped our shoulder had grayscale? I'm not the only one. Okay, anyway, so, first thing that you probably notice is that this game is beautiful. Very beautiful. Um, I love art, and this art style is just, it's just beautiful. Everything about it is gorgeous. It's very simple, but at the same time, it's so elegant. Yeah, in this game you can fight multiple people at once. I don't really like it because it's it's fairly difficult, but at the same time, it's one of those types of mechanics where it happens and you're kind of like, mm, it doesn't feel like this game was made for that, really, you know. Ah, yeah, so you can change your fighting style, well, stance basically. Um, you can knock down doors. I'm not sure how useful this is just yet. There are like certain things that are hidden throughout the world. All right. So one thing some people might not know that is if you block certain moves that you don't know, you learn them. Now, I'm 
gonna see if I can. Okay, one thing that you'll find out very quickly is I'm very bad at parrying. Okay, I got that found. A lot of this comes with, you know, experience, obviously. Most fighting games are like that in general. Yeah. And when you actually defeat them, you gain the experience that you just got. Oh, yeah, wrong kick. Alright, there we go. Oh, I was looking for a certain move. Okay, one of the gangbang fights. I now, if you point your left stick in the direction of whoever else is in the fight, you can't hit them. It it, it still doesn't make it easy. To be honest with you. Oh my God. Okay. All right, he's out. I'm so bad at that. Okay. Gave her a love tap. Okay. These things, I believe, act as like save points, I think. Okay, so, oh, we have to find and defeat Silen. Alright, so Silen is actually the gatekeeper. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Okay, another one of these. I have a feeling I'll probably get better at these over time, like fighting multiple people at once. Mm, gotcha. Um, alright, let's do a little, let's try and do a little bit of pairing. Okay, still bad. Got it. Yeah, I love that kick. Uh, alright, we're gonna open that. Yeah, there are like, um, I believe I read somewhere that this game borrows not heavily, but the developers really like big fans of Dark Souls, and you can see it. Okay, I really want that kick that he has, so I'm probably let this fight draw out just a little bit more, a little bit longer than I probably should. Oh, I don't have that either. Good God! Okay, stop, stop it. Um, that would be my alarm if anybody heard that. Good. Okay. Come on. Come on. Try and hit me and hit me. Alright. Okay. Oh, jeez. I should not test him. Come on. No, no. Kick. Give me the kick. Okay, don't, don't kill me. Don't, you can't kill me. Oh my god! Okay. <sighs> hmm. Right, so that happened. Okay. Well, you don't have to fight these guys. Honestly, you can just run past them. I'm actually I'm not sure if they'll chase you or not, but um 
I'm gonna do it because you know it gives you experience, of course. I'm not sure what happens if you actually die. Like if you die with um like if you lose experience or anything like that. But you know, this is a good learning experience. You know, this shows you, you know, you can't be too cocky. Oh, jeez. Alright. Okay. Round two. Let's do this. Okay, we should probably lock on first. That would be good. Ah, so we still have it built up, too. That's, that's nice. So, good God. Killing me again. <gasps> oh, wait, did we not keep it? Um, I guess not. Jeez, okay. Through the door we go. Um, previous deaths, I mean, well, further deaths, I prob I might end up cutting out. Not sure yet. All right, so this is our first NPC named Talon. So Talon unlocks the practice, well, the combat deck for us. Oh yeah, we have gear. I'm gonna put this on. Alright. Um, Alright, so let's check this out. So here we have bare hands, war gloves, and a sword. Don't have either of the two weapons. So of course we're gonna work with bare hands. Now we're using, um, what, what are we using? Forsaken which borrows, it's basically a balance style. Borrows from strength and dexterity. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, so. All right, so for those who don't know, these icons at the bottom right-hand corner of the um, of the abilities stand for things. Like this one is a stopping attack. This one is a breaking attack. Um, there are more. Currently, I don't have, okay, here's another one. Um, this one is a jumping attack. It allows you to evade things. Uh, and the one at the top left, did, I believe, signifies which class it's from, which um, style it's from. Like this one would be cults, this one would be cults, this one would be Forsaken, because it's a mix of Dex and that. Um, that's a Dex one. Hmm, so we're gonna do. Yeah, that one. So that combo is gonna go like up here, X, X, Y. And then if we wanna do our breaking combo, we do X, X, Y. Oh, wait, no, no. Where's our. Oh, okay, so. X, X, Y, Y. There we go, there we go. And this one is. Well, we could do X, Y this way. We could do. Y, Y, and if we do it this way, go it this way, score a fast hit, or we could do boom, 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 oh. 
That's a little funny though. Uh, it's because we don't actually stay in there. Not technically we should. Technically we should. Oh, I see. Oh right, we had um, hmm, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, we have stats, stat attribute points. All right, so um, as you can see, you can go through and read each of these, just like I said beforehand. Depending on which style you have, that's um, you're probably gonna want to focus most of your points on those. The only one I think that you can't actually mess with is mobility. So we're actually gonna put two points into vitality right now. All right, we got ourselves a three-way here. Oh, oh, the other two didn't. Oh, yeah, they are. There they are. And yeah, apparently the enemies can actually tag their tag others as well. Hmm. Ooh, okay. there we go. Get on my face. Up it. That one felt good. And that one did too. Uh, careful of getting too close to the edge, because if you do fall off, that does mean you're dead. Got it to the bridge. We're gonna sprint all past that. And this is the altar. Which I'm assuming is like the main hubby kind of yeah, altar, I guess. That's what I'm. Th that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I don't know who this guy is. I'm just gonna call him the God Man. All right, so the God Man basically just told us that in order to climb the tower, we need to defeat. We need to defeat some lesser enemies. Basically, we need to beat some bosses. Um, apparently that's where we're at, the shining little altar. And th I'll be honest, this map is is not very easy to read. Um, okay, we're gonna sit for a minute. boost 
sword damage by much. Wait a second. Oh, that's because we have more strength than this. Oh, it does. It does. Do we scale better with strength? Huh. Where's you gonna put more into health? Okay. Now, pretty much at this point, we we we're, we're into blind territory. I went up in this direction and I went a little bit further, but this that's as far as I went. I hasn't been much exploration. There's another view from where we came from. And I, did, I also did go up these stairs here, but um, I felt like that was, I don't know why, but for some reason I had like Dark Souls vibes, and I thought I went the wrong way, because that, it, I don't know, it kind of looked like it was a higher level area, but I don't know, I think everything here kind of scales to whatever, to whatever you currently are, at least that's the way it feels. <coughs> Alright, but we're going to stop here for right now, and we're going to pick up in episode 2 going on this way, I guess you can call it the western path I guess uh, but for now we're gonna say laters and I'll catch you in the next video